Um, I want I do want to start off by saying Jog De Log again. Everybody say Jog De Log. Jog de log. Everybody say Shiki Ketnaha. Everybody say Makor and Mechin Kehoe. Everyone say Raquis. Everyone say Halawa Saponi. And Sonora Lynch. And so I was teaching them how I use hand coiling techniques and also how we do pinch pots and smaller bowls. And then we moved into our, our clay project. And so they made turtles. And um, this technique is an uh, ideal that I came up with. I had a professor who saw my work. He said that he's seen work all over the world from England and Greece and China. He said he had never seen pottery like mine. So I think through my work, I'm telling the history and the stories of our beliefs. Um, I talk with the students about our hands. As you see, I have these two pieces with hands on them. And this was all about, you know, the gift that we have in our hands. So I named that particular piece was, is called um, Your Hands Can Heal. So I wanted to imply to others that their hands can heal and your hands can do many things. And so that's all about, you know, making pottery, healing people, mm. medical doctors, and that's all medicine plants on that particular one. And so that's all about our hands and the In gift circle. And the reason why is because I want you to have a border, a border on your turtle. Anybody remember what the turtle represents? Life. Long life. It represents uh, the moon in the sky. I think I told you guys about the 13 moons. So right here on the board, I drew the 13 moons on the back of the turtle shell. You might want to draw a simple design or you might want to draw a complicated design. It's all up to you. I don't want you to draw too tiny. If you draw too tiny, sometimes the clay will crack off. And so we want to make sure we leave space. The tobacco designs are easy. The corn designs are easy. The the sun design, the four directions, the flowers, the moon and stars, and this is a natural back. I talked to you about the 13 moons. The changing of the moons represent our ceremonies. And so the turtle has 13 blocks, and that's how it represents the different 13 moons in the ceremony. About it, we always say that the spirits are released in our pottery. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. The spirits are released and they're happy. I don't want my pottery to break anymore, but it's an understanding of clay. Clay is, has its own spirit and you put your spirit into your work. North Carolina has over 100,000 Indian people right here in our state. North, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. You're a neat, you're a neat artist. So look right here, you can think about maybe drawing lines in the background. Maybe zigzag lines, maybe uh, lightning bolts. Or, so on the feet, you can think about maybe doing something like that. Right here, what I did was I just drew a line. And then drew lines like this. This is called a basket pattern. So some of them I just left straight lines and then some of them I did lines like this. So that's called a basket pattern. Also called the beaver's tail. Anybody remember in here what I said the turtle represented? Life, 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 Mother Earth, spirits. What else? I use flowers on the back of the turtle to represent the medicine plants. Anybody remember what I said? I call my work. Anybody remember me saying living traditions? Anybody remember why I call my work living traditions? What was it? Something I experienced, right? The things that I grew up with, the things that I had in my life when I was a little girl was corn, tobacco, flowers, animals. We didn't have uh, Xboxes like you have now. We played in nature. <laughs> we climbed trees, we made our own toys. We would catch little beetles and play with bugs, catch lightning bugs. And that was like our fun, our games. Do you? Awesome. Nice. Very nice. That's beautiful. I wish you had time to scratch your background, but you don't have time. But that is so beautiful. Thank you. We also say oh, say yo, which means we shall see each other again. We don't really say goodbye. We just say till until we see each other. Like again. I said, it's an honor to be here. I'm Halawa Saponi from the Halawa Saponi Indian Tribe. It means people from the red clay, and my work is made out of red clay. I think it's important that. Um, the students, first of all, I want them to love 
the art. I want them to love what they're doing. And I come here as an American Indian, but I also come here just as a human and as an artist. And so I just want them to find joy in creating. You guys did a beautiful job. You did an awesome job.